Good morning, students. Today we will study the new poem. The name of the poem is Amanda, and this poem is written by a famous writer, Robin Klein. Uh, she is a very famous writer, and she is famous for writing poems uh, for children. And her poems have also been awarded many awards, and it is also said in the uh, children book records. and there also she has got many uh, rewards for writing the poems for children so let's begin what is there in this poem so in stanza 1 it is don't bite your nails amanda don't hunch your shoulders amanda stop that slouching and sit up straight amanda so here what is what uh, does the writer want to say here Amanda is the name of one girl, and here through this poem, the writer, uh, the poet also wants to tell you that uh, the children do not want to be involved, do not want to be indulged in all the responsibilities very early. They want freedom till certain period of time of their age. So here, as uh, you can see that. Don't bite your nails, Amanda. Don't hunch your shoulders, Amanda. Stop that slouching and sit up straight, Amanda. Here, the mother uh, means the among the parents. I uh, the mother is speaking to Amanda, and she is instructing her some things that she should not do. What does she say? Please do not bite your nails, Amanda. Do not hunch your shoulders. Hunch means. Lower down. You don't sit as though you are sitting lethargically or easily. You should sit straight, Amanda. Stop slouching and sit up straight. Means stop bending down and lying down and sit up straight on the place where you are and do what you are doing. Means do not bite your nails. You should sit straight. You should sit properly. You should. This is the truth. That so all these things have been constantly nagging. It's being done by her mother to Amanda. But what is Amanda doing? Let's see in the next stanza. There is a languid emerald sea where the soul inhabitant in a mermaid drifting blissfully. Here, uh, um, Amanda is lost in her own. world she is not listening to what her mother is telling her she is lost in her own world and uh, where is she lost she is lost uh, near a sea and she feels that she is a mermaid now she is imagining herself to be a mermaid and she says there is a languid emerald sea Languid means a calm and a quiet. Nobody is there near the emerald sea. Emerald is a precious green color stone. So the color of the sea is looking as though it is a green emerald, and it is very quiet and calm. Nobody is there. Where the soul? Because there is nobody. There is soul inhabitant means single. Soul means single. Now only one inhabitant means the person living there is me. Me means Amanda is talking to herself, lost in her own world, a mermaid, and she thinks of herself as a mermaid. What is a mermaid? Mermaid is an imaginary creature who is the uh, half a girl and half a fish. The upper part of is of a girl and the lower part is of a fish, drifting blissfully. Drifting means moving leisurely, quietly, slowly. in a state of happiness so she is feeling herself imagining herself to be a mermaid who is living all alone near the sea that is very quiet and she is moving very slowly and very quietly happily like a mermaid in that sea now again when she is lost in her whole world again her mother comes and tells her something else Did you finish your homework, Amanda? Did you tidy your room, Amanda? I thought I told you to clean your shoes, Amanda. So 
So now again her mother has come and she is asking her some more questions. She is still asking her, have you finished your homework? Have you tidied your room? Tidy means clean your room. And I think I have told you to clean your room, to finish your homework very early, in the very beginning. And you have not finished it till now, so it's go and do it now. But again, Amanda is present there, but not listening to her mother. Again, she is lost somewhere else. Now, let's see where is she. 